guy. Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, so there's a really good article in the ESPN Fantasy Football Magazine um, by Phil Yates. Um, rules to draft by. And if you know who Phil Yates is, or if you don't know who Phil Yates is, um, he does the Fantasy Focus Show on Sunday mornings. He does the Fantasy um, Podcast episode on um, ESPN's website. And he gives you tips to draft by. And I was going to do, um, I was doing like, um, you know, doing two parts each of what he said. But I thought I'd just do one video um, and cover a lot what he says. But like in the first tip he talks about is to pick running backs first. Um, just like I said that, whoa, about drop my phone. Uh, the, uh, the running back pool is very scarce. Uh, once you get, if you're doing like a 12-team league, I noticed that tonight when I did my first fantasy draft. Um, you know, when you get to round four and five, unless somebody like doesn't draft right, you might get lucky to find a really good running back uh, late in the round. But stack up on your your running backs. Then, like when you get like two solid running backs, head for that wide receiver uh, pool. You know, try to go after maybe like a Jalen Waddle or go after, let's say. Uh, we want to take a chance on Michael Thomas stuff, but you know, stack up on your wide receivers. Um, tip number four, he says in here is be patient on your quarterbacks. Um, like a lot of people will draft quarterback way too early when they should be stacking up on their bench, um, getting running backs, getting receiver. Um, there's, I think he said there was like most of the most of the quarterbacks average last year was like eighteen point eight points a game. So you don't want to draft um, a quarterback too early because you might find a quarterback later in the rounds. Um, also, he highly suggests, and this is for everybody, for tip number five is to pick defensive. And kicks, uh, kickers later in the rounds. Um, he said basically the only one that was really averaging a lot of points last year was um, Carlson for the Raiders, was averaging at least 10.1 fancy points um, a game. And just because you have the top defense doesn't mean they're going to give you high, you know, points. Um, each week, you know, it kind of depends, like, if they're going to get an interception, they're going to get a sack, so it kind of all depends on that. Uh, don't draft a kicker too early. Um, the other tips he talks about is um, stack up on the bench and draft upside. So, um, stack up on those wide receivers, those quality wide receivers, especially like maybe running, uh, like wide receiver, maybe two or three, you know, because that one star isn't going to get the ball like every play, every play, every play. So stack up on the bench. And on the last tip, target upside. He says basically kind of compare, okay, like he um, referred to um, AJ Green and. Um, Rashad Bateman, you know, who has more of an upside? Like he says, um, for example, if you think Ravens second year wide receiver Rashad Bateman is a, is destined to have a breakout this season. Um, he represents a much higher upside than let's say AJ Green. AJ Green has a clear role in Arizona and could be productive in his second season there. Uh, but has more, but he's more likely going to be closer to the player he was last year. Uh, roll the dice, swing for the fences, and um, shoot for stars, whatever high upside um, 
they have to use. Uh, so basically, yeah, like always go for more quality upside on a wide receiver. Uh, like if you know, let's just say like, um, like, okay, so Detroit, obviously, um, what is that? Amon St. Brown. I think that's him. Uh, so yeah, like obviously he's the number one, like go like for the, that number one and number two slots in wide receiver. So just quick little tips. What Phil Yates was talking in this fancy book. I thought it was helpful for uh, definitely me when I was drafting tonight. And I definitely thought I had a pretty good draft for my first team, I should say. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys later. I might do one more fancy draft tonight before bed and I'll let you know what I thought of it.